it's an ongoing need to maintain and upkeep roadways and pavement in the city. And the city of New Albany has over 180 centerline miles of roadway to upkeep. Um, with that amount of road and the cost that it takes to maintain that, it's something that has to be invested in on an annual basis. Since 2015, we've been working with the city to manage their annual paving preservation and maintenance program. Since that time, the city has milled and overlaid and rehabbed over 75 miles of city streets. So a significant amount of work and investment. And what you see in this neighborhood is an extension of that work and continuation of that ongoing work and investment the city's made to uh, maintain their road network. The City of New Albany does an annual paving program and as part of that we always apply for additional funding from the state. We have a certain amount through our annual budget and with Community Crossing's uh, matching grant uh, that the state offers we're able to extend the amount of paving that we can do in the community so we're able to reach as uh, many parts as possible. You hear on the news where they're talking about infrastructure and that oh they're going to do this and they're going to do that. But here in our little city of New Albany, we are doing it. Every place I look, it seems like there's construction going on. There's road work going on. So you hear all the time about infrastructure, about, oh, we're going to do this and we're going to do that. But New Albany is doing it. I've watched as this city has slowly come back to life. And right now we are on the precipice of something incredible. The city of New Albany is becoming a regional destination for folks that are wanting to find a place to live that's close to Louisville, that's close to the Greenway, that's close to so many different amenities in our community. And I think New Albany is uh, particularly well positioned 